So I'm going to show you how to build a <clears throat> squirrel proof bird feeder. Um, works really good. I used to have lots of problems with squirrels getting in the bird feeders and um, now these just work perfectly. So what you're going to need is a 6 inch diameter by 24 inch stove pipe. Um, doesn't matter about color, just that size works good. One of these end caps fits on the outside. Um, some of them fit on the inside, so make sure it fits on the outside. Uh, I just picked this up. This is the bottom of a uh, plant pot, plastic. Um, you can find it in any hardware store. Three fourths inch copper pipe, six feet long. That's going to be the stand that goes into the ground. And then uh, just a piece of uh, two by four. This is cedar. Figured it would weather better. Um, you can get whatever you want. And for hardware, um, four number eight by one inch screws. You can use whatever you have in your junk box. And these are all two and a half inch, um, also number eight screws as well. Um, anything you have in your junk box would probably work fine as long as it's around that length. Tools you'll need. Um, gloves are good for the stove pipe when you're putting it together. It comes, there's the seam. Um, it's kind of sharp at the bottom, so you want to be careful. Use gloves if you can. You'll need a drill. Um, tape measure is good. I'm using a 7 eighths inch spade bit for um, the pole to go through the wood, because the wood's going to support it kind of at the top and a little bit midway down. Uh, make sure it's nice and centered. Uh, this is a... Um, three sixteenths I think drill bit. Um, any size is fine. Just uh making pilot holes for these screws. And um a center punch works good. You can also use a nail, um, hammer and a miter saw to cut the wood. You can use whatever you have. Doesn't necessarily have to have a miter box just as long as it'll fit on the inside <laughs> diameter of the A quick, and <clears throat> a quick and easy way to um, figure out where you need to cut the wood. Basically, just take your two by four. And this is relatively sharp at the top. It's um, it won't, you know, I can do this, but if you put any pressure, it'll they can cut. But um, just try and line it up centered. Make the end meet on the inside edge, and then just kind of press down on the top. And I don't know if you can see it here, but the indentation of the uh, outside rim is now <clears throat> in the wood. So what you can do now is take your tape measure, go from one point to the next um, from the indentation, of course, and then just draw a line right. and use that as your guide with the saw. Now do that a couple times after the cut, make sure it fits on the inside of the pipe, and then you'll be all set with your um, wood supports. Now, what you're going to want to do, once you have these cut out, if that's about five inches, you'll go halfway, and you'll mark it, right? So 2.5 inches and then you go you know another halfway to one point seven five over here right here right and that is basically gonna be where you're gonna use the spade bit for the central hole to feed these two support pieces. We're ready to drill the bore hole for the um the stand plate. And uh, you're going to need a junk piece of wood, um, so you don't go through your floor, obviously. Um, and when you do this, just kind of take it slow. Uh -huh. Try and keep the drill as, uh, you know, vertical, perpendicular to the, uh, you know, as you <coughs> Try and use up a little bit as you reach the other side, otherwise it could bind and start spinning with the drill bit, you know.
I just want to be a little, a little careful about that, but do that for each. Um, obviously, you just want to kind of make sure that your marks um, line up from the last step, just because you want it to be, you know, to to be true through through the pipe and not kind of be like, you know, off. So then the pipe's going to be bending and it won't be nice and perfectly vertical in your yard. You know, it'll look like some weird creation. Now, if you have a drill press, um, this task will be a lot easier. But uh, you can definitely do it with a hand drill. Just uh, take your time. All right. Now, once you have your two pieces drilled. Um, just pick one of them. You'll notice quite possibly that it still doesn't fit in the top. There is a slight lip and it's perforated I guess you'd call that. Um, and that's so the cap will fit snugly. You don't actually have to cut any more material off. Most likely if you do you can kind of work your way with the saw to try and make it fit. But a trick that you can try is to simply flip the pipe over this is a wider mouth then you want to slip the wood in all the way down and push right. and be careful when you flip it back over not to push the wood back out and then as you can see it is right there perfectly resting now you want to verify that the top cap is going to work so Take the cap back off. You want to make sure the wood is flush with the top, and you can use the base as a template to make sure that it's so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take, if you have a sharpie, find two spots that you want to drill, and usually it'll just kind of be like, okay, we'll do here and here, here and here. Right. And you can't really, you can kind of tell um, simply by here and here. But you want to go lower than this lip and you just kind of mark them out here and mark them out here. And you can't really see with the camera, but I can see because there's a different shine on this material. And if you use the silver stove pipe, you'll definitely be able to see it. So I'll come back down here and mark here and here. And then what we're going to want to do next <clears throat> is we'll take this out okay, and we'll put this back on. Okay. I usually like to line up the seams just because I don't want to have to drill through them. Um, press that down and then you'll take your center punch and hammer. So this is what we're doing here. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as centered as you can do it. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what I'm talking about. See, we have the sharpie mark, and then we have the dimples that we're going to drill through. Now, one thing you want to do is put it upside down, give it a little tap. You might want to do that with gloves because, like I said before, it can be sharp. We'll leave that as is. I will um, now take the drill bit, put it in the drill, and drill, drill out the first set of holes in the cap through the stove pipe. Make sure these line up. 
And um, I guess one of the items that I forgot to mention that we needed was obviously a screwdriver. But you will need a screwdriver to drive in these two and a half inch screws. And that's basically what we're doing here. You push in, you make sure the holes still line up. And <coughs> with the wood secured in the bottom, which you know is flush to the top of the cap because that is the extreme. Um, and you push in. You can just do the next one and keep going through them all. And so you have all four screws in. What you want to do now is you can put the pipe in and just verify that it lines up centered. Um, if not, there might be some adjustments that you can make, or ideally you just go back to um, cutting up the 2x4 and making some new um, pieces of wood, trying to get the hole centered a little bit better. Um, but anyways, everything looks good with this. The next thing we'll do is we'll take a trusty tape measure, and we'll measure up from the bottom. You'd do this on the ground, um, halfway, 12 inches. And um, we'll do the same type of markings, and we'll drill the holes out, and then we'll try and line up the other piece of wood. And what we'll use is we'll use the pipe as a guide so that it will be, um, you know, in the proper place um, when we screw it in, because we don't want it to be off and then try and put the pipe in and it won't line up. So that'll be the guide, and that'll make it work really well. Now, for the um, sake of expediency, I've gone ahead and center punch and drilled um, two sets of holes on each side as you can see uh, 12 inches up from the bottom and what I did is I basically lined them up with the holes I had already drilled for the top um, so I think that should work nice what I'm going to do now is the easiest way to get the pipe in is basically to flip it upside down take the pipe and can't see, but find the hole on the inside, right? Place the pipe. And then what we want to do is we're going to take this one and place it on top. Alright. Guide it down. Okay, now. Okay, so. <clears throat> once again, just line it up with the holes. Let's fit it in. There you go. Alright. Just push that in there. And one thing you want to do is you want to take one of your screws, stick it in. So you can get an idea of where you're at. Okay, so it's right there. Because it's really hard to see. So once you touch it, touch the screw, you'll push it down maybe another, you know, three quarters of an inch just to make sure it's centered. All right. Screw them. <coughs> make sure there's contact, obviously, with the wood block. I'm going to do one on this side, and then after this one's all the way in, I'll go and I'll do one on the other side, and um, just so that we can make sure there's going to be no twisting or anything. And I'm going to do, this should now be fairly well secured with two. I'm going to put in the additional two. All right, and the middle wood piece is secured with the additional screws.